Hi, George here. And I'll be showing you how to remove people from a photograph inside of Affinity Photo. And this time we'll be using a couple of tools, the Clone Stamp tool, and we'll also be using the Inpainting tool up here. That's Inpaint right there. And we're finished, it will look like that. Okay, we'll start off with this figure right here. Now I always like to make a duplicate of the background and do my work on the duplicate so that the background is protected just in case anything goes wrong. Let's just get rid of this one here. I'll trash that. So here's our background layer. Right click and duplicate. There we go. And you can then hide that background. That's our safety. Now in here, I'm going to make a selection around this girl, but I want to cut off my selection right at the line of the mountains right down here, just to make things easier for us. And that's because if you do the whole girl, you may get a weird bit down here on the mountain line. So we do it in two parts, makes it much easier. So we'll start up here. I'm just using the standard lasso tool here. So come down and then go right along where the top of the mountains are and just kind of guess in here, that's fine. And up around this side and back to the starting point. There's our selection. Let's now go up to edit, come down to inpaint. And this requires a selection like we just made there. And we'll then work. This is gonna go through and basically do a clone stamp kind of fix like that for us. Notice how we get this kind of strange thing happening here on the mountain. That's why I wanted to cut that off because we can now come in here and fix this with a regular clone stamp tool and have that nice edge to work against. So grab the clone stamp tool. I'll bring my brush size down left square bracket just a little bit. Then I'll come over here someplace, hold the alt key down and click on where you want to copy from. And then come over here and begin painting where you want to copy to. I'm using a very soft brush in here. This may take a couple of passes to get this just right. I have mine set at 0% hardness. And it gets it out of the way. Now it's not a perfect match. We'll still see an edge in here. We'll take care of that in just a second. Control D to deselect. You see there's your edge showing up. So do some more of this come in here and alt click. And this just come in and catch those edges in here. Just like that and just kind of work it in. And I'll take some of this over here and extend that through a bit. Kind of help to blend things together. And that looks good. It's a little odd up here in the sky. So I'll take some of the sky over here from the right hand side. Some of this stuff in here, Alt and click over here. And let's put in some more sky right there just to kind of help blend those clouds in. And that should do a pretty good job just like that. Okay, that looks natural. Let's now come down and do the same thing here for the bottom half. And again, just right along that edge. If we need anything special in there, we can do that as a final step. And then it's coming right around the legs here. Now for this part of it, I like staying just a little ways away. That gives Affinity Photo something to copy into and should give you a softer blend, a little better blend that way. And then back up to our starting point, let go. There's our selection. And then edit and in paint. There it is. Notice down here, it's a little odd. We can fix that again. Control D to deselect. It looks good. There's a little weird right up in here and a little off color right up in there. I think we can take care of both of those with the clone stamp tool. First, I'll start over here someplace, alt and click. Let me just bring in a little bit of this brown color in there and just get that taken care of. I'm going to change my hardness now up to about 80. I think that's right about what the edge is in here. It's kind of a judgment call. You bring the brush size down. That's the left square bracket key. And I'll grab some of the dirt down here, Alt and click. And I'll just come up and just catch those little bits up here that we kind of missed. And I'm just dragging it along like that. Okay, and that looks pretty good. Maybe just a little bit right up in here. Now it's a little harder edge. So let's make this a softer edge again, back to zero. And then Alt and click. And let's just come right over the edges that I was just coming in with. Like that, there we go. And I want to get rid of this bush here and that bush there. Those are kind of duplicates of other bushes. You don't want to have any duplication happening. Okay, let's now come down here to the bottom. Hold the space bar down. You can push this around like that. And I'm going to grab some of this stuff in here. Let's just go over here, Alt and click right there. And I'll just paint that in from the other side. There we go. And this looks like it'll match pretty well. I think that's just about perfect. A little bit right in here. Maybe a little bit right up in that area there, kind of a shadow right there. Okay, that's taken care of. 
We'll do the exact same thing over here on this girl. And again, we'll do the sky first and then the mountains and stuff second. So grab the freehand selection tool. Now that's over here, normally underneath the rectangle tool. Click and hold your mouse button right down here, freehand selection tool. And up here, one of that freehand. Okay, same thing. Come in fairly close, but not up against the figure. Hold the space bar down. You can move the whole picture like that and then just keep on coming down. Now this time I'll come right to here and then I'm going to figure that the mountain right here is in there someplace. And then same thing back up around here. Space bar again like that. Back to the starting point. Let go. And let's do the in paint, edit, in paint. And that element must take care of most of that for us. Messed up down here, but that's okay. We need to have some sky in here. So back to our clone stamp tool. Bring my brush size up a bit. Now on the clone step, you want to have this at a 0% when you're doing anything in a sky. You need to have that soft edge or it's going to be pretty obvious what you're doing. And let's just come in here and paint that in like that. There we go. Control D to deselect. That sky looks good. Let's now come in here and do the bottom part of this. Now I can do all of this just freehand. Let's see how that goes. Clone stamp tool. I'm starting off for just the soft brush. Come over and grab some of this stuff in here. Alt and click. Let's just put some of that in like this. Just work it in and grab different parts of it and kind of work around so that we have just a bit of variety up in there. That should work out fine for us. And up here like this need to make that edge up there harder we'll take care of that and that can be easily done once you have the basic stuff set in here and I think some of the green bushes down through here will work out pretty well and right along this edge here I want to be in closer on that and a hard edge so I'll go back up here to the freehand tool let's make a freehand selection right around where those boots are right here up and around like that back to the beginning again Back to the clone stamp tool. I'll come over here, let's get some of this dirt right here and just brush it right on top. And that clone stamp selection gives us that hard edge. And control D. Let's go up here to the sky. Now for this, I want to have my harder edge again. Let's bring it back up to about 80. Now bring it down to about 70. We'll try that. Because these edges are a little bit soft. I don't want it too hard or too soft. I want to kind of match what's already there. So Alt and click. And let's just brush in right along that edge. And Alt and click right here. And I think that's going to do it for us. There we go. And a little bit right in there. And a little bit just right into here. Now let's go back to our soft brush again. That's zero. Alt and click. And I can use that to come in and kind of fill this in. Let's make the brush size a lot bigger. That's the right square bracket key. Alt and click. And let's just blend this bit of the sky in right there. There we go. Control zero to fit screen. And I think that's a real successful removal in here, as you can see. So here's the original, and here's our fixed version right there, original and fixed. And if you want to learn a lot more about how to use Affinity Photo, I have a complete training course for this, where I cover everything in here, all the tools, all the panels, all the menus, everything. And I'll put a link for that at the top of the description. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Give me a like. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. I'm doing new videos all the time. Hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of those videos as they come up. And I'll see you next time.